from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. And today we're here at the Castle Market. How are you guys today? Good, thank yeah, you. Yeah, pretty good. Thanks very much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Introduce yourselves quickly. Uh, right, okay. I'm, I'm Rachel. Um, shall I say who we're playing? Do you want to know that? Yeah, yeah. Or, I'm, I'm playing three different characters, uh, Cora, who's an elderly lady, Drew, a nine-year-old girl, and Imke, who's a German lesbian. I'm, Mike. <laughs> I'm Michael. Uh, I'm playing five characters, um, Kevin, Steve, Andy, Miles, and, um, uh, uh, and uh, Callum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I always forget one. And, um, yeah, that's me, Michael, yeah. My name's uh, Natasha. I'm playing four different characters, uh, a Canadian girl called Kate, uh, a Hungarian woman who works in an eggless cake shop, as you do, um, uh, who am playing? Amy. Amy, Christine. who works in production, and uh, Bill Silver, who's a secret woman who lives in the East End. Hello, my name's Toby. Uh, I'm playing a, an elder gentleman who's a married to Cora called, uh, called Bill. Um, I'm playing a Muslim chap called Abed. Uh, I'm playing a, a six-year-old boy called Louis. And I'm playing a, an Irish photographer called Seamus. So tell me about your play. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it, right. It's basically, it's a, it's a verbatim play, essentially. So what we've done, we've, um, we've interviewed people about their experiences about love and relationships. And, uh, and then us and the four actors will recreate those interviews on stage, word for word, with the, the accents, the stutters, the rhythms, the rhythms of their speech. Um, and uh, and yeah, so we've fallen into kind of a narrative. So it's got themes about love, uh, things like and the compatibility, online dating, uh, how people met for the first time, arguments, and <laughs> arguments as well. Yes, of course. Um, and uh, and so yeah, it kind of follows that kind of thread. So. so what made you want to do? Uh, the I I had seen. I think the first verbatim thing I went to see was London Road, which was a few years ago. Um, that was uh, created by Alex's life, who is now our mentor for the project. She was um, who's one of the awarded ideas at who then uh, gave us the venue, and Alex is our mentor. Uh, so having seen that, I, I knew that I wanted to make mm -hmm. them into something that I think I'd, I'd be able to do well. So, uh, yeah. yeah, and I think verbatim, the, the style of verbatim is such that it's very different knowing the actual, the actual words of people. Um, even though an actor speaks in them, there's something it affects you slightly differently, I think, and can be, can be very powerful. So, so that, that really attracted me. So, how did you choose to do your um, Well, we put up signs in, in various areas. It originally started out as part of the Valentine's Festival, um, and uh, some of the people we knew already, some are related to some of the cast, but largely they were strangers to us and they answered adverts and postings and stuff, which was wonderful because, you know, they, this is very personal information that these people are imparting to us, uh, as strangers, these wonderful, detailed, uh, exposing stories. Um, that we can Yes, uh, I think probably between us we've all. Yeah. My first time. Oh, it's your first oh, time. Right, yes. uh, so, what do you guys love about yeah, there's, there's, so many, there's, there's so many like shows going on, so it's nice to be a part of the I mean it's the biggest arts festival in the world, isn't it? Which is fantastic. So um, so it's really nice to be part of just so many creative people all doing their things and, and to be able to see so many shows, doing one yourself and then just meeting like kind of like-minded people. And uh, and I suppose also just having the opportunity to, to do a particular show for an extended you know, run of we are here for the whole month until the twenty-fifth is our last day. Um, so it's really nice to get into a, a sort of flow and see how the show kind of starts off and then it kind of builds and you know, so we sort of set into it a bit and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, it's just really good fun, great atmosphere. Yeah, also yeah. the architecture of the city is amazing. I think it's such an incredible thing that this, everybody in the city says yes to the festival and makes use of every single space and you do the whole of the underbelly, you know, working at the venues. It's, it's fantastic. And the variety of stuff, and I just love it. You know, I, um, obviously, ours is a debating play because it's, it's more theatre than to be able to see physical theatre and circus and cabaret and all that sort of thing. It's brilliant. Great. So, what have you got coming up after this one? As a, as a group or as a, as a, as a company? Um, well, who knows really? I know there's other projects, other verbatim projects that uh, Ellie Browning, um, the, the 
think it's a great club to come to work in. Um, in terms of love project, the love, the love project. Um, uh, we, 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 as, as yet we don't know, but we, 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 it's, we love the show. And it's what they Even the fingers crossed for a tour, yeah. <laughs> bring, it to, bring it to the rest of the UK would be fantastic. Yeah. Audiences respond really very, very warmly to it. It's, it hits some lovely notes, and I think it, it doesn't. Um, it, it kind of bridges. I, I think, think it bridges the, the love, the love issue really, really well. It's got the sadness, it's got the sweetness, it's got, it's got everything, and it's very heartwarming but heartfelt as well. I think it doesn't, it doesn't overdo that, overplay that too much at all. It's really. Great. Well, thank you very much for coming to us. Pleasure. You can go and see the Love Project at Underbelly in the Cow Gate every day until the 25th, but not 14th at 10:30 in the afternoon. Um, so Michelle, you've been watching Love.